Brandon here with Vaughn Baker, president of Stratagos International. And if you're joining us on our blab chat today, welcome, thanks for being a part of it. And we are here today to talk about a Facebook video that as of this moment has received almost 20 million views. It's not the video we wanna talk about, however, it's the product that it explains in very simple terms. And it's not just any product, it's a product that could save lives and is also inexpensive. Vaughn, tell us a little bit about it. And the system is called the Barracuda Intruder Defense System. And we became aware of this product. We, we, uh, we get sent a lot of these products to review because we do training with so many people on this topic. And uh, we don't typically endorse a product or choose to market a product unless we really believe in it. And uh, after testing this particular system of products out, uh, we became a big believer in it for three reasons. One, the, uh, the product itself is, is, uh, can be installed or removed very quickly using gross motor skills only. We know that in a crisis, fine motor skills go away. The second is the products or system of products are principally based. Uh, depending on if the door is a swing in door or or swing out door or if it's a if it's a push bar door with a closer on it uh, it's it can be principally placed and it supplements the principle that we believe in when we train it and that's to lock the door to layer the lockdown never be satisfied create redundancy and to reinforce the lockdown so uh, for those three reasons that's this system this barracuda intruder defense system is is a product that we believed in so much we actually became a distributor and we've sold it to a lot of our a lot of our customers just last week, there was a school shooting in northern Saskatchewan, and I can share an anecdote. Um, one of my kids is in college. They said, hey, let's do an intruder response drill. And so the first thing that they did was they said, hey, somebody help me shove this desk up against the door. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't know until that moment that the desk was bolted to the ground. So that was a waste of time. So then they had to find another desk and attempt to push that up against the door. If you have a device like the Barracuda in place, you don't have to spend time shoving desks against doors, flailing around, you know what to do and you can act quickly. Why aren't, why isn't this device or one like it? Why isn't it part of building code in schools, in facilities or workplaces where there is a lot of traffic, they're somewhat vulnerable and now we're at a point where a simple product is getting 20 million views, but it's been around for a few years. Yes, yeah, so we, we became aware of it a little over a year and a half ago, uh, but you know, devices like this aren't mandatory yet. Uh, it is a purpose designed device. And of course, all those things that you just talked about, whether it's we bridge uh, stacking the desks next to each other against an opposite fixed object or tying off doors, all those are still solutions that you can still use. And they're actually very cheap solutions. However, if we're looking for a purpose designed device, this device hangs, uh, comes with a hanger where you can install it right next to the door. And all you gotta do is remove it from the hanger and install it onto the doorknob or underneath the door, depending on if it's an open in or open out de device. Uh, you know, those, a lot of schools, a lot of facilities, whether we're talking about health healthcare facilities, do not have locks on the inside of the door. So the question becomes, well, do we want to install dual cylinder locks that have locks on the inside of the door? Well, those devices uh, and those new locks that we're talking about installing are, are typically around $230 to $250 a piece, which is about a twice the cost of this Barracuda device. Uh, and not only that, it doesn't it doesn't protect you if a person has a key for that particular room. So uh, this device does do that. What would you say would be the reason that it's not more prevalent? It's just that uh, regulations and codes have not caught up with the reality? Well, that, and well, you know, it's a, it's a cost issue. Knowing that these events, even though they're becoming more increase, uh, increasing in frequency, they're still not a likely event. So the, the, the question becomes, well, where are we gonna get the money? That's usually the first question. It's the cost of doing something versus the cost of doing nothing, which typically isn't thought about until after the event. Again, don't want people to think they have to have this device because there's a lot of other techniques that we teach that are very inexpensive that you can do this. This device is, just happens to be designed for uh, this type of threat, and it's a very good device for that. Now, this isn't the same, obviously, as having security personnel on site, but as I understand it, what it does is it buys time for the good guys to get there and intervene. Yeah, and that's what that word lockdown means. When we talk about lockdown, we are talking about preventing access. That's that phrase we continually hammer on is trying to prevent access. What this device does is allows you to prevent access very quickly using gross motor skills only. The question that a lot of people have is how do you get it? You can't go to Walmart, you can't go to Lowe's, it's available through distributors, including yourself. You can get it a lot of different ways. We'd like you to get it from us. Uh, and we, we are very competitive in our, in our prices. You can go to, to the intruderresponse.com website and then click on the shop link and uh, just click lockdown devices and you can see these devices and see how they work. 
and price ranges per unit per door, I guess, is the way you look at it. Open in and open out door devices, you're looking at, at somewhere between the $115 to $135 per unit cost, depending on the quantity of units you're needing for your organization. Now, a lot of the organizations that are going to benefit the most from this would be educational institutions, governmental organizations, but then, of course, you have um, private organizations as well, such as hospitals or simply workplaces that want to really ensure security of people. Uh, they've possibly already started a new budget year and they may think, well, I, I can't deal with this until 2017. Does it have to be an all or nothing approach? Can you pick priorities and, and try to ensure the security of particular parts of a building? Absolutely. We And if you don't have the money to buy devices for every room, we understand that. Uh, for schools, we recommend if you're going to use a phased-in approach, we recommend using those uh, that phased-in approach by focusing on our uh, low mobility, high-risk areas. And examples of that would be our early childhood centers and our elementary schools, starting there, or maybe our, our SPED classrooms, special education classrooms, focusing on those areas first and then working our way up. If it's a workplace, what you can do is identify safe rooms that are close to those cubicle areas that we can have those devices ready and have people uh, get out of those areas to that safe room and then to deploy the Barracuda. That's right, and whether you're interested in the Barracuda or not, it sounds like this video getting out, conversation we're having, will open up the opportunity for some healthy discussions about workplace, about traffic, about how people are getting in and out, and what we can do to improve our overall security of our organization. Exactly, and just a continual reminder, it's not about the hardware, it's also about the software. The software that we look at is the training, training equals software. So we look at it a combination of where hardware meets the software solution. That's right, there's no device that can replace this uh, well-trained employee. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Vaughn, well, thank you for the update here. We will direct people to uh, intruderresponse.com uh, to learn more. Okay, thank you, Roy. Have a great week. Thank you.